Okay, you guys, January 17th, 2022. It's 11 p.m. on the dot. And we are on the North Shore of Big Bear, California. And basically the forecasters seem to be wrong again. So I'm going out on, on a desperate little hunt for possibly a little bit of snow over in the Fonskin area. And that chance will be done in about 45 minutes. So hopefully we get something. And if we do, I will put the video up. If not, then I won't. Very unfortunate. But we've gotten used to this, guys, right? We probably have a better chance of an earthquake than we get some snow around here. But I'm hoping something happens. Hoping when we get over by Fonskin and the Big Bear Dam area, hopefully, hopefully we'll have something. And the lady I wanted to shout out earlier, I, I forgot her last name and I felt really bad. It's it's Glenn Olaco. I, I hope I pronounced your last name properly. She lives in the Philippines and uh, I'm pretty sure they don't get any snow around there. Thank you for watching, Glenn. I appreciate you a lot, and thank you for not getting mad at me for thinking you were a guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As I said, my name, I used to get called Nikki. Lots of girls get called Nikki, too, so I apologize. I was not trying to be rude in any way. I know there's a famous actress named Glenn, like Glenn Close, right? I, I, think. I think. I think that's a female. So anyway... Glenn, I hope you in the Philippines are doing great. I hope you guys weren't impacted at all by by any tsunami from the volcano in Tonga. I think you were probably a little bit out of reach, out of distance, but I'm not sure. This one ever. I'm thinking I'm passing a cop. All right. So, as I said, we'll only post this video if there is any snow. We're still getting a little drizzle, of course. This is the only part of town that looked like there was a possibility of it being, or of it snowing actually as we speak, so. And I'm not talking snowing, I'm talking like flurries. And over there on the lake, it's, it's looking really thick the further we go this direction, so I'm, I'm hoping that you can't see too well over there because of snow. That would be awesome. It is pretty warm though, it's 39 degrees. But I always keep my fingers crossed because when I told you guys I lived in Denver for two years, there were lots of times where it would be like 40 degrees and it, it'd be snowing. But that's because not too high up above where I lived, maybe a couple hundred feet, it was a lot colder and then it would be warm right at the surface. It was just crazy how the weather worked out there. I can't explain it too well, but... It always miffed me that it would be like 40 degrees, a couple times like 42 degrees, and we'd be getting the biggest, fattest snowflakes coming down. Skin, but I'm hoping the other side of Fawn Skin has a better predicament for us. It's 38 degrees, hey, going in the right direction. I bet when we get to the 
the dam, it'll be like 36 degrees, maybe 35. And then our chance for snow at like three, four, five, six in the morning, like it was supposed to, eh, that went away. Okay, so it looks like all I saw over here was just fog, because we're driving into fog now. Wonderful. And the only reason why I'm keeping the brights on, even though it, it makes it harder to... Oh. <laughs> even though it makes it harder to drive, um, is because you guys can see better. And obviously, if a car comes, I'm going to turn off the brights. Like, jeez Louise. We almost went over the edge right there. That was pretty rocking. <laughs> this car handles well. Thank goodness. Thank goodness it wasn't snowing right there. We would have slid right off. I'm right, gonna slow down. Speed limit. If you're downtown, is 25 degrees or 25 miles an hour. Wow, this is just such a bummer. Even Fonskin doesn't have a whole bunch of snow. Well, they got, compared to other parts of town, a lot of snow remaining from the previous snowstorms. But this part of Fonskin doesn't get too much direct sunlight because it's right up against this mountain to the right here. And, uh, I mean, maybe just a few minutes peeking through every day. Very thick with, with trees over here. But we are getting some good precipitation now. I mean, it's raining a little better now. 37 degrees. Come on, show us some love, you guys. We went out and did this drive. Come on, let's get some snow. I can't believe we just crashed. We almost crashed right there. That was nutty bound to happen you guys I drive all the time so it's bound to happen okay so this is the side of Fonskin I was hoping that we might start seeing a little bit of snow falling you guys keep your fingers crossed for some reason I thought tonight would be the night that I wouldn't disappoint you guys well I thought wrong I thought wrong there still is a chance at 5 in the morning for about 30 minutes it shows and just because I love this stuff I'm gonna set my alarm for like 430 so I can be ready for it in case we don't get any right now Probably not going to. But it is 37 degrees. Come on, get down another degree. No, it went up 38 degrees. Come on now. Come on now. across the lake a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see. You guys probably can't see that. I can't believe it went up to 38. That just crushed my dreams. I crushed your dreams. storm was a little more, uh, gosh, I don't, I don't want to say, uh, like east maybe, just a little tiny bit, then we could have driven up to Onyx Summit, another 1,500 feet up in elevation, and we could have, actually about 1,600 feet or 1,700 feet, and there probably would have been a, a, a better chance up there, but it didn't look like there was any precipitation over that side of the mountain. So I came over here where it showed blue. The radar showed it's blue on this side of the lake right here. All blue, which means all snow. The only thing that's blue is my heart right now. That was just a huge raindrop. I don't think that was snow. 
29 degrees now. Come on. Come on. What a joke. Going in the right direction. Thirty-nine again. Are you kidding me? Look, I'm not messing with you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not messing with you. This is a nice view of the lake. I wish you guys could see it. Maybe the weather radar had it backwards and it meant this side of the lake. It didn't, but we gotta go back this way anyway. So now we're at the dam, just like you're entering Big Bear, you guys, on Highway 18. I got the window down for good luck. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but hey, we're gonna try. expecting snow for the next video and there's no point in putting up a video if there's not going to be any snow. Oh, that's a rock slide. Jeez. It's a new one. It wasn't there earlier. It was not. I mean, that was a freaking boulder. You guys saw that? The thing was huge. last ditch effort we'll, we'll go drive by snow summit since it is a little bit higher up not much though it's not much at all but it's a little higher up and it's right up against the mountain on the mountain actually so maybe we'll be getting something there i i'm pretty sure that the top of the mountain is getting snow they say for about every thousand feet in elevation from where you're at temperature cools between like two and a half and up to seven degrees but I've always noticed it probably around four, four degrees, five degrees for every thousand feet. You guys, it's 11.15. There's some traffic right now.
bet. Let's see if the tow truck pulls over or not. Who thinks he will? To let all, the, all this traffic by. I bet he doesn't. That's the big bear entitlements. It's 37 degrees. You guys, we might get really close. We might get really close. My luck, it'll be at the end of this damn video. But I'll tell you guys in the video at the beginning, I'll make another short clip to tell you guys to see the snow go to the very end. Just so you don't have to deal with all the BS. So it's just common courtesy up here. If you're driving that slow, like the tow truck is, and there's cars behind you, but then there's like nothing after about 10 cars, then maybe just pull aside. Cause there are signs everywhere. Maybe not in Big Bear itself, but that say slower traffic, keep right. Or use a pull out or use a turnout or something. It just helps traffic run a little more smoothly. Because this is the last thing that most of these people in front of us probably want. All these cars came from outside of Big Bear. So they probably had a long drive up here and this is the last thing that they want to deal with is traffic at 11.15. I'm just saying. tow truck up here we you get wherever you need to go without any hassles and it's not like we're being hassled right now I'm not trying to sound like I'm impatient even though I am a little bit what I used to do when there were slow cars we turn left here so if I was right behind that tow truck right there I go straight here like absolutely haul butt I'm not gonna do it though and you turn left at this first street and cut him off on Big Bear Boulevard right down there. You turn left here and haul your butt right down to Big Bear Boulevard. And I've gotten in front of a lot of a lot of cars. Not that it matters, <laughs> because right at that point you come up to two lanes anyway, so it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. But we're in the quiet village. We're in the quiet village. I really do love how charming this town is like when it's this quiet though. It's, well, for me, this is amazing. I love it like this. All these cars are here because people are drinking. 
I'm so glad I haven't had a drink since I've lived it in, in Big Bear. That's just, man, as depressed as I've been, that would just be the, I don't know, the final nail in the coffin for me. I can't believe it's been over eight and a half years. Look, there's that tow truck straight ahead. <laughs> he just passed. up like a day before or like two days prior it popped up that there's a chance for a little bit of drizzle during this afternoon and that did happen but then it showed at about 6 30 7 p.m it was supposed to start mixing in with snow and then at about eight it was going to be all snow for about three or four straight hours i hope you guys like what they consider all snow the n and the o in the word snow is what they meant. Schnur. Okay, what am I going here? Is this brownie? Is this brownie? Is that brownie? Yes, that's brownie. Alright. I'll 
I'll call this video something like um, last weather update before the, the storm ends or something like that and no snow like we were promised we were gonna get some snow seriously one of you guys left me a comment saying that you're, you're coming up tomorrow and you hope that it's a lot more snow than they than they say. And I was hoping too. I mean, I had a bunch of you crossing your fingers for me and just crossing whatever you could. But no, no snow for us in Big Bear Lake or in Fawn Scheme. No, wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. All right. That's enough, that's enough. So we're at Moon Ridge Road, guys. There's the infamous Walgreens. I don't know why it's infamous, but it is. And then Best Western. I was having a conversation with one of you about the Christopher Dorner thing up here. If you guys remember that road cop from the LAPD who went and killed a bunch of cops, this is where he got caught up here. But anyway, I love you guys. You guys take care, okay? Sorry about the no snow.